Hey Superstars, it's your girl Malika, AKA Ms. Magic, back with another video. So today this is a part two video of sis why your silk press is not silken. Why your silk press is not bouncing, why you don't have any volume or beauty to your silk press. I'm gonna give you five more reasons. I already gave five top reasons. Now I'm gonna give you five more reasons why your silk press isn't silken by popular demand. But first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right guys, we are going to jump right in. If you have not seen the first video, go ahead and check that out. Five top reason why your silk press doesn't give you any bounce, it doesn't have any shine, there's no light. I gave five the five top reasons, but now I'm about to give you five more reasons why your silk press is not silking. Number one, your hair just is not healthy. And when I say that, I mean, there's a lot of things that we need to do to make our hair healthy, deep conditioning, shampooing correctly, and just overall taking care of your hair. But I recommend, I've, I've said this on plenty of my videos, a protein treatment at least twice a year. I personally use Apple G. I love it, it keeps my hair shiny, it keeps my hair healthy. You only need to use it twice a year if your hair is severely damaged, three to four times a year. But I just recommend it twice a year following instructions. I have a dedicated video on how to use Afro G correctly. So if you wanna check that video out, you can. Um, this goes hand in hand with the uh, Afro G treatment. I recommend a cholesterol treatment at least four to six times a year. And when I say cholesterol treatment, but cholesterol is basically just a conditioner. It is just 100% cholesterol. Um, actually, I actually use a cholesterol that's mixed with um, aloe and um, is it aloe? Yeah, I, I use a cholesterol treatment that's mixed with aloe that I love. I think it's the Queen Helens, but a lot of people, a lot of uh, brands sell the cholesterol treatment with the aloe in it as well now. So I do that four to six times a year. Um, and that, and basically you just slap it on like a deep conditioner, but you'll leave it on maybe like 30 minutes to an hour. Let that penetrate your hair sh shafts. And then you basically just rinse it out. It's And that's not, a chemical or anything so it's just like a conditioner but it just is an added extra uh, bonus to get your hair shiny and it keeps your hair nice and healthy all right number two why your silk press just ain't silken or bouncy or shiny you got to keep those ends clips lady you got to keep your ends clips at least six to eight weeks some ends need four every four weeks depending on how much manip manipulation how much um, uh, things that you do to your hair if you are not tying it up, which we'll get into that later. So number three, dirty tools. Your flat, if your flat iron is not clean and it's got all that gunk and build up on it, your flat iron should be nice and clean. Your plates should be clean. If you need to clean them, you can use like a little alcohol with one of those little, little rubbing cloth and keep your flat iron clean. Secondly, your blow dryer. If your blow dryer brush, clean your brushes that you use to blow dry your hair. If you use a comb, keep those tools clean because all of that nasty residue will get back on your nice clean hair that you're trying to flat iron. And then when you actually try to flat iron it, you just uh, letting the, the, the dirt and the buildup bake into your flat iron, which is going to lead to a nasty flat iron. Number four, this is very important ladies, at night, don't just go to bed on your hair. Tie your hair up, whether you wrap it, roll it with rollers, however you put up your, if you, you uh, band it, however you put up your silk press, it should be tied up with satin or silk scarf and then a satin or silk bonnet. This is a religious um, thing that you need to be doing every night. Like you should not ever go to bed without your hair being tied up and sleeping on some type of satin or silk pillowcase, just in case your bonnet or your scarf falls off, which I know, ladies, that happens a lot, but that is very, very important. And the number five reason on this part two of why your silk press just not is not silking, ladies, is your takedown. When you take down your hair, regardless of whether you wrap it, roll it, 
or however you tie up your silk press. Everybody got their own different method. The takedown is very important. Be very gentle with your hair when you say, I roll my hair. So when I take down my hair, I take out all my rollers very carefully so that it will not snag. And I use a light form of maybe just like the heat protectant that I use or just a really, really light oil. And I just go over my hair and massage it in and just, you know, roll it through. If you've wrapped your hair down, make sure you use a wide tooth comb first. Don't go straight in with a small tooth comb. When you take your hair down, start with a wide tooth comb. Then once you get any little tangles out or knots out, then you can go in if you want to with a smaller tooth comb or brush and um, gently go through your hair. But go ahead in the mornings after you take it down and put a little light oil in there and that'll just keep your hair from drying out and it'll keep it uh, shiny and with, you know the moisture locked in for the re remainder of your sew-in. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, go ahead um, down below. Like y'all know, I answer every comment. Um, so don't worry about that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up. And hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. Alright guys, I hope to see you in past, present, and future videos. Um, I hope to see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.